it ain't going too well for the gaming industry right now. You have all the stuff going on with Sweets Baby Inc., Gamergate 2.0, that sort of jazz. And when you combine that with Disney Star Wars, a dumpster fire is an understatement. Earlier this week, a trailer came out for an upcoming Star Wars game called Star Wars Outlaws, and it has been receiving a ton of backlash. As we can see here, the trailer has been ratioed. People are not happy about this. We must ask ourselves, why are fans not liking this trailer? Well, I think when you consider all the various controversies going on in the gaming world right now, people are starting to wake up to some of the realities in terms of all the social justice and woke nonsense being pushed in our entertainment. So when your average gamer is greeted with something like this, a side-by-side -side comparison of the model they used for the main character and the actual character that we saw in the trailer, they can quite clearly see that the developers have ditched her gorgeous feminine traits in favour of this very unappealing aesthetic, and they will think back to all the content creators out there like myself who have been saying for ages that this is what these developers want to do. They want to push androgyny and get rid of femininity. And the vast majority of gamers are going to be like, well, screw you, this sucks, because the male gamers want to look at an attractive character and the women want to envision themselves as being that attractive character and looking that type of way. Whilst browsing through the comment section of the trailer, I found that a lot of people have been saying, don't pre-order, and I think this could be a reason as to why the game is receiving so much hate. Recently, the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection came out, and it was a disaster. Servers weren't functioning, things like that, and it meant that no one could really play the game, which especially infuriated the people who had pre-ordered it, so I think that's what those comments are in reference to. I do believe that the studio that has made Outlaws, Ubisoft, and the one who made the classic Battlefront collection are not the same. I could be wrong, so correct me below if I am, but families aren't going to know all the ins and outs of the studios working on the games. To them, it's all one big thing. Most of them wait to see Batman appear in a Marvel movie. They are not as plugged into all this as we are. One terrible Star Wars game, even if it's made by another studio, is going to leave a bad taste in their mouth, so when the next one comes along, they immediately have a bad impression of it. As for what I think about the trailer itself, man, I'm so checked out of Star Wars. I don't love the property anymore, I don't hate it either, I'm just done. If you said to me tomorrow that everything Star Wars is stopping and there's going to be no more for the rest of time, I wouldn't be like, no, or yes, Disney can do no more damage. I would just say to you, okay, that just goes to show how much the apathy is set in. I believe this game takes place between The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. It wouldn't surprise me if they try and tie this strong woman into the original trilogy story by having her teach Luke an important lesson that shapes him into the man we know come the start of Return of the Jedi. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. But you tell me what you think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.